What up, peeps? This your boy, Black for the Cow. I told you I had a range bag for you. You're gonna love it too. Oh, it gets better. They had flat dog herb. All right, the best part about these bags is they fully customizable to fit any gun. See how that's looking like it ain't gonna fit? That'll work. What gun? Like I told y'all before, I got a pretty sweet bag for y'all. And if you're in the market for an AR pistol case or an AK pistol case, you might want to check this one out. What we got here is the NC Star Vism Deluxe AR and AK pistol and sub gun case with three accessory pockets. Currently, this case is going for $46.92, but when I got mine three weeks ago, it was $39.99. So if you like what you see today, I suggest you go ahead and purchase this case because the price is going up as it's gaining traction. As you can see, out of 337 reviews, five out of five stars. This bag is also 28 inches in length, 13 inches in height. Perfect for your AR pistol or AK pistol. What I got here is everything I'm about to load into this case. I want to keep this video short, straight to the point. After all, it's only an AR pistol case. So you may have more, you may have less. Whatever you got, I'm sure this bag can accommodate you in some way. If you like what you see, I highly recommend purchasing this case. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. All right, all the weapons you're about to see loaded into this case have already been cleared and are safe to use. All mags will be in for aesthetic purposes because you know, like I know, it looks better, including the AR. So, first, you got buckles holding down all of these pockets along with Velcro, and you got straps right here so you can snug down whatever you load into these pockets. Now, I'm going to load this up as I explain it so that we can speed this thing along. These are some pretty big pockets. You can see my hands, I wear large gloves, and I'm able to get my hand in this pocket uh, pretty easily. So, this pocket here has a divider in the middle so that whatever you load in here won't rub against one another to cause any damage. First thing first, My Gen 4 Glock 27. Like I said, it's been cleared, but yes, I have the mag in, but no round has been chambered. It'll go in the back. Falls right down in there with plenty of room. So in the front right here, I got two small mags. I drop both of those down in there. Along with my backup extended mag, 15 rounder, I drop that down in there. So as you can see, I got all three mags in the pocket, the firearm in the pocket. Now I can take, snug that down so they don't go nowhere, fasten that, lock that up, pull that nice and snug. Moving along to the second pocket. Two straps. This patch does not come with this case. I put it on here from an EDC bag of mine. I thought it looks pretty good. Add a nice touch to this case. So if you purchase this case, grab your patch to throw in the front too. Want to make it your own. You got Velcro here. You got the same straps. Only difference is this middle pocket, it don't have no divider. So in my case, I feel like this would be perfect for a few AR mags. One, two, three, and four. Let's 
snug that down. Close that up. That's that pocket. Moving along to the third pocket. The third and the first pocket are identical. You got your straps right here. You still got that same piece in the middle to divide the um, weapons or whatever you're gonna load in here to keep damage off one another. What I'm gonna be loading into this is my uh, Gen 2 CZ P07. Mag in, no round chamber. Now this firearm is a little bit bigger than my Glock 27, as you can see here. But it still fits in there pretty good. And we'll hit this. I only got one backup mag. Drop that down in the front. Same old thing. Snug it down, lock it down. All right, let's keep it pushing. Moving up top. You got metal buckles right here to keep this thing down. All right, Velcro for days. Buckles for days. Now these zippers are pretty good. I haven't had no issues with them. They flow, op they flow open and close pretty easy. One thing I like about it is you can put a small lock on there to keep this thing locked. It won't protect you from theft because if somebody want to get in it, you and I both know they are gonna get in it. But I have no complaints about the zippers. They do ride smoothly. I like that. Opening up the bag. You got a section in the front up here for an AR pistol or an AK pistol. You also have very pro for days. Tie that thing down, keep it from moving around while you're traveling. You got two pockets right here. One for the nose of your gun, the barrel, the other for your arm brace. You got a nice padded section in the middle right here to keep damage off of your weapons, keep them from scraping against one another. I like that. So you can load two pistols into this one case. All right, moving along. Towards the top of this case, on the inside, you got this nice padded area right here. Offers a lot of protection so that if you have this thing loaded up nice and thick, this padding right here is gonna ride along the upper section of the, right up under the zipper to uh, get this thing a little bit more cushion. You also got Velcro strap for days to secure your pistol once you load it in here. This is the side that I prefer to carry my AR pistol in because of this cushion up here. I just think it's uh, a little bit better, being that I only got one. Velcro for days. This case is 28 inches in length. What I'm loading into here is my uh, Arrow Precision AR pistol, 5.56223 NATO. Uh, I also added a um, Slimline Mini um, Blast Can by CAC Industries. So yeah, this thing should fit perfect. Sliding that in. Taking it back, opening that up. Take the time to make sure everything is nice and secure and nice and neat. Perfect. Pulling that all the way back. Now you see how much room you got. You got about another inch in the front. So depending on how far your muzzle device is on the end, will determine if this case is going to work for you. It's perfect for me. I've been on YouTube long enough to know 
that if I don't mention this, I'm going to have someone down in the comment section saying, hey, you know you should have put holsters on those guns before you loaded those in the case. And you know what? You're absolutely right. Always better to be safe than sorry. So before you load your firearms into these pockets, I highly recommend that you holster those weapons first, then load them in this pocket. Because we all know you should never carry a firearm with an exposed trigger. So load your firearms into the proper holsters that's going to fully cover the trigger. Especially if you're going to carry that weapon loaded with one in the chamber. Because last thing you want to do is end up shooting yourself in the foot, shooting someone else by accident because it's called negligence. And I nailed that word on the first try. The review for this bag is pretty much over. I just want to show you a quick little detail that I can appreciate because I've seen a lot of bags and I haven't seen this small little feature that makes a big difference in someone that pays attention to detail. Flipping the bag over. Now, down on the bottom. If you can see that, this right here is how you can secure these flaps from flapping around. I can appreciate that, that they actually thought about, hey, you know what? It'll look better if we can keep these things in place. Let's give them something to do that. Because me, I would have figured out a way to put something on there, maybe even glued them once I got this thing set. Who knows? But yeah, they're on the bottom and on the top. I like that. The only thing left to do is to show you how this bag ride and you ride with the bag. Here you have the NC Star Vism Deluxe AR Pistol Carrying Case. It's a nice case. There's no badging on this case. I actually forgot the name. So NC Star didn't put their name nowhere on this bag. I had to go back into my car to see what it was called. But I highly recommend this bag if you win the market for one. If you're new to owning AR pistols, this is not a way to store your case um, if you're going to be using it for home defense. Um, find another method to store your weapon because you don't want to have to get into a case to access it. This is strictly for traveling on the road or going to the range. Again, I highly recommend this NC Star Vism carrying bag, 28 inches in length, 13 or 14 in height for your AR pistol. Like the videos, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Black 40 Cal, signing out. Peace.